Hey, how's it going? Today, we have a lot of stuff to do. We need to get ready for the Savage Acro, which will be happening in the next video. So we need to take our apes, get a lot of those guys bred up. We gotta make some armor for them. We've gotta craft the actual Savage Acro spawner and get everybody geared up and stuff. There's a lot we gotta do, man. That's kind of one of the reasons why we came back to Fjordor. We've got the mutator to help get them raised up a lot faster because, dude, I tell you what, the apes take forever to raise up sometimes. And then we got the replicator plus all the extra resources here to make all of the gear and stuff. I want to take about 60 of them in. I think 60 will be enough. <laughs> we'll kind of see. Either it will or it won't. We have some of the... Where are they at? The tech wrecks for backup. These are what we used on the first time we did the Savage Acro, and they are beasts, man. They've got 70,000 on the health, and then... 1300% on damage, so it's not too bad. So what we need to do is we need to get our breeders out. Start the process with that going. We've got our ones I brought over from... That is the other breeder. From the center. That we used on the last boss fight. The only problem with that is they've only got 20,000 on their health. So that's kind of low. They got 876 on the damage, so the damage is pretty good on them. I'm not too worried about that. I'm kind of worried about the low health. So these other ones that we get bred up, I'm not too sure what to put the points into. Because here's the thing, man. With these, so we don't have Krakens installed anymore. I was crashing a lot after I recorded the last video, I crashed. And I have not been able to get the mod to work again with my Ark install. I've uninstalled all the other mods. I've changed a bunch of settings. I've had a couple people helping me with it, and we just can't get it to work where it's not crashing. So we are using the vanilla version of the, the apes. I was hoping to have Krakens, because then you can have more than just the headpiece. You can have the head, you got the hands, you've got their built-in armor. It's... Uh, it would have been a lot better. But this is what we're dealing with. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. We might get wiped, but it'll be fine. So let's get these guys breeding. And that'll start that process. But yeah, so we got these guys here, right? We've got... we got 20 of them. I'm not too sure if they're going to work, because whenever the Savage Acro does his big attack, it's going to wipe them out no matter what health they have anyways. So I'm kind of thinking, if we put more stats into their damage, and kind of do it like these, with just 20,000 on the health, that might work out a little bit better. Let's, uh, let's do this over here. What's up, guys? How you doing? We're taking you into a boss fight here soon, too. <laughs> got a lot of stuff playing with those guys. Seems like we finally got enough bread up. Let's get some of these guys out, and then we'll start making some of our saddles. And then we need to craft that spawner, too, before I forget. Two, four, five. Do a couple stacks of these. I think it's 20 of these that we have all together. I was thinking about using some of the Dinosuches, but I really want to see how a full flight of just the apes will do here. And if we get wiped, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it, it kind of is, but it's not, right? Because the only thing we're really missing is time. Well, that and some resources. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of resources. But, we're not out of too much stuff. I want to see if they will work, and then we'll kind of refine our stuff a little bit. If we get wiped, is what it is. It's, it's, it's bound to happen, and we'll try with something else at another point in time. And this is the Parasaur I want to keep for color breeding with these guys. So let's put you right here. This is the one we got kind of hard to see. It's got the blue, gray, and yellow. Oh, dude, it looks fantastic, man. I want to try to breed that in with those, and we just need to get the stats over. Then we can get rid of this guy. I don't know why this one is here. I don't remember. No idea. Do you have any idea? Probably not, but here's what it is. So you guys are going to take a few minutes, and then I need to get all these guys picked up too. These are some of the extra ones, the colorful ones I was keeping. A little bit of breakfast. I'll take that. Thank you. Let's see, where do we want to put these at? Dude, I got so much stuff I really need to get rid of. These guys don't have any mutations, do they? They don't. I was wanting to take some of these in with the Savage Acro, but we're nowhere ready because these saddles, dude, I tell you what, the saddles on those guys are so expensive. We'll put these in there. That'll be fine. And let's make this up before I forget. Super simple. It is 50 of the adrenal glands. Now, I brought all those over from the center. I killed all those over there and got enough. You can't actually put them into the transmitter, so I... I threw them out over there and then spawned them in over here. It's it's one of those creatures or one of those things that you just can't do. And that is the spawner. Let's put that in there so I don't accidentally click it. That would be horrible to spawn it in at base. Now, as far as armor. We got two options on armor. So we got 1200 durability on this. And then we got 871. That's the one that we've been using. And then 
I think our Riot one is better. It's not. Okay, never mind. The Riot one's worse altogether. It's <laughs> worse durability. It's got worse on the armor rating, and it is more expensive. Holy crap, is that expensive. Almost 1,300 polymer for each one, and almost 700 silica pearls. So this is actually pretty cheap. It is 638 on the metal, and then 446 on the hide, and 191 fiber. It's almost broken. It's so good. I'm just saying. It's, it's the way it goes. Double check. I want to make sure we didn't have something else that was going to be better. So... Let's do 20. That'll be for the ones we already have. Uh, man, all that metal. How much metal have I got? That's the other thing. I need to take a look. It's super simple to get it with the magma sore. So we got 30,000. That's not too bad. We are very low on hide. We're doing pretty good on fiber, so we might need some more hide. I think the metal might be alright. Just grab these out. We'll make another 20. So that was at 30,000. Let's see how much it goes down by making 20. I'm not very good at math off offhand like that. Oh, we should be fine. We should be fine. We'll be alright. We'll be able to make one more set. Like I said, we're going to do 60. Holy forgot. I don't have Wingman. I left Junior over on the center. We are going back there, so no reason to bring him over here. Why have you got a mining helmet on? Was that authorized? Slide you out of the way. Now I'm stuck. There we go. The tails, man, the tails. That <laughs> must have been the one that I was riding. Those would have been awesome for the boss fight. But dude, I tell you what, super expensive, man. Oh, dude, those things are expensive. All right, let's give you this. I'm not going to paint them. It's not going to be worth it. Usually I paint all these saddles and stuff. But dude, I tell you what, we're not going to last very long. So there's no point in actually painting them. And I don't know what we're going to ride on. So last time, I think I rode in on the Shadow Mane. And they take a lot more extra damage. So it's not a good thing to be able to ride one of those. I might take one of our dragons. We might breed one, and then I won't be fighting with it. I just want to be able to whistle. Because last time I put everybody into team groups, and team groups and me don't work out very well. So what I want to do is I'll take the guys, right? I'll take, like, this set of 20, and I'll put them all over here. And then the next set of 20, I'll take and put way over there. That way, I can just fly over with the dragon and do whistle commands on top. And, like, those will hear me, but these won't. That's the plan. Not sure if it'll work, but it's <laughs> it's all I got. I get these on these guys. I need to put the points into them. It'll probably all go into damage. I'll probably do it as we're doing this. And I need to go check. We should have a little one already ready. Let's pick these guys up as we're doing it. Because these are actually already done. Nothing else is going to happen with them. And we'll have to kind of evaluate everything when we're done, too, to see if any of these are still alive. The ones with the lower health. I don't know, man. Like I said, we might just do low health on all of them. Make them like glass cannons, right? That way they can do a lot of damage up front. They can get wiped, and then we'll just send in the next wave. That might be the better plan. I do want to do quite a few of the Savage Acro fights, just because it's a very good boss fight challenge, right? Alright, how did we miss one? Did we lose an ape? Oh, we did. Well, did we? Maybe. Somehow. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19, 20. Did I make 20 helmets the first time? Who forgot a helmet? At least it shows on these versus like a cryopod where it doesn't show. Maybe I had an extra helmet? Did somebody already have one? That's a possibility too. Everybody has one. You don't. Uh-huh. Look at you, man. Almost went into battle without your helmet. Wouldn't have worked out very well. Alright, so there is 20 that are complete. Let's check on our ones over here. You guys doing alright? Almost ready for another one. You should over here. So here's the thing we're going to do, too. So there's one. Let's throw out a bunch of these females. Which one's the male? It's you. This is going to speed the process up a ton. And they're all the good stats, so I don't have to worry about it not working out very well. You know, with, like, stat transferring over and stuff. I'd be kind of cool if we could get some mutations on these, too. 
then like I said, we'll try the Krakens again after... Sometime after the holiday event. I got so much going on right now, I don't have time to constantly worry about crashes and stuff like that. Alright, there should be enough of these guys. Let's do... We'll do one more. So that should be fine. Is everybody in range? It looks like we are. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, dude, that should go super fast now. And we'll get them all. We'll do them in batches of 20 as well. We'll throw them all out over here. We'll kind of clear everybody out. Throw out all 20. We'll pulse the mutator. And that'll get them all raised up. And then we should have 20 more of the helmets made up. We do. We'll make one more batch, and then that should be good on all those. And that is the majority of it. Dude, I am so glad we got enough of the metal. I'm missing some hide. <laughs> 219 on the hide. I don't have any other teams over here. I left my Thyla over on the center. Probably should have brought him to ride on. Junior, you are always sleeping, man. Every time I come back, you're like up there sleeping. It's lazy. He's lazy. All right, I'm going to go out. I'm going to grab a little bit more hide. I think it was like 219. I'll grab about 300. And that'll finish up the helmets we need for all of them. And then we should have quite a few of the little ones from that big group of apes there. So, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. And we should be able to almost get that done. All right, so I forgot the bat doesn't actually collect resources. <laughs> I had to get off with my, my hatchet and actually collect all the hides. It's fine, man. It's fine. Kind of weird how they only collect rotten meat and stuff. The rest can go into our storage. I think we are getting a little bit low on food. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot about that. How is our food? Any berries? Oh, we're doing terrible. What do we have the most of? Let's do these. Let's do a thousand. That should be good for a few minutes whenever we start hatching them. So now the thing is, how many do we actually have? We just need one. We were really just short one? Wait, what did I... I always hate that, man. I always double click it. Alright, so there's 19. Close enough. Close enough. I'll tell you what. They're all out there. We still got quite a few more. Let's go ahead and get these guys out here. Let them start doing their thing. And as soon as we get these guys out, we'll do the growth pulse. And then I want to grab our fire dragons. We'll breed a pair of those up. And that's what we'll ride on. That's, I mean, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It takes a lot more damage, I think, with the flyers. Kind of like the shadow Man did. But like I said, man, it should be fine. We're not going to be using them for fighting. So we should be able to stay out of the way, I hope. <laughs> I really hope so. But if we lose it, not that big of a deal. I'll probably put points just into, like, stamina and speed. And that way, like I said, if we do lose it, it won't be too big of a deal. I need to watch out because I don't want to throw out our fully raised ones. All right, so there's all those. That should be good. Let's give it a second. We'll do the growth pulse. Let's grab... Where is the fire one? So there's a poison. Okay, so there's a female fire. And there's a male one. I like the colors on these guys. I think we got these originally from here. I think, if I remember right. Whenever it was on the mod map version, though. Put you guys outside here. A little bit big. Um, Right here will be fine. Yep. A lot bigger than I thought. But the colors. Oh, dude, the colors are fantastic on these guys. We got a little bit of blue. We got some kind of like dark gray. And then we've got the red wings. Oh, man, it took me forever to get the colors kind of all sorted out. All right, one of you. One of you. We'll get one egg, and that should be enough. And we'll put those away. Do we have... What's up here? I think just the Ketzel's up top there. You guys should be good. Let's do a growth pulse. I think it's just a Quetzal up there, right? Or is it the other dragon up there? We only have one ice one, I think. Nope, it's a Quetzal. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, I'll tell you what. The wings, man! The wings! I'm sorry. It's not your fault. You're just in the way a lot. Let's move you up some. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. It'll be alright. 
Good little dude, man. Always causing problems, though, with his wings. How long have we got? That is slow, man. Take forever. You guys all right? You should have enough food in the feed trough. Kind of worried. Not gonna lie. Our little ape army. Look at them, man. They're growing before our eyes. It's gonna be a lot of healing for the snow owl. The cool thing about the snow owl, though, we can land the snow owl in the... Are you mutated? You've got like a green face and belly. Interesting. Should have checked that. And they're all raised up now, so I can't really look. Ah, I'll let the imprint finish. I think that one's mutated for sure. But, uh... We can land the snow owl kind of like right in the middle, and it'll reach all of them. It's kind of neat. I did that with the cinema crops, too. Whenever they were all in here, raising them up. Are you guys ready yet? You are. Let's pick everybody up. I want to see if that one is mutated. It's got to be, man. It's got a color, color change on them. It does. One mutation. Not sure what it went into. <laughs> I should have looked at all the little ones. Totally didn't think about it, man. Alright, let's throw you outside here. We'll get the snow out down. Tell you what we should do. Is get the snow out down and throw those guys all around it. That way I'm sure to... Have room for it, you know? Alright. There we go. One medic on duty. Uh, is that everybody? It is. Excuse me, pardon me. A little bit of room here. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's fantastic. I like the snow owls, man. They're pretty cool. The only thing is, it takes forever to heal stuff up sometimes. Turn that back on. So I put so much stamina into this guy. I could probably heal them almost all the way up on one charge. And then whenever the, my stamina rebuilds, it'll be like the second one. The only thing is, you have to sit here forever for it to work. Yeah, look at their health, man. It's almost better than a pig, right? Because a pig, dude, that guy eats so much food, man. I mean, the pig eats like a pig. It's the way it goes, I know. But still, when you take the amount of food the pig, like, costs to heal stuff up, versus the amount that the snow owl does, oh, uh, dude, it is, like, no, no close battle there with that. Actually, one charge might actually get them all done. Are we good? I mean, good enough, because I do need to put points into them still. Oh, that's fantastic. It's only 3,000, so it's not much. Okay, well, let's go ahead and give you guys your helmets. That way I can pick you up. We'll keep these in a separate tab, because I still need to put points into them. I still don't know what I want to put the points into. Kind of a... Kind of a problem, man. It's either going to make or break this whole boss fight. And luckily, with having the Paleo mod installed... I get the normal versions of the acros, which is still only very, very few, but I also get the paleo version, so it's like a double spawn amount. So it kind of helps out with that, you know, with getting the parts that we need. The last time we did it, dude, I tell you what, it took me forever to get enough of the adrenal glands. It just, I was getting like one or two per map, and that was it. All right, so this is the last one. We're going to make a separate folder for these. Need levels. <laughs> I do not want to mix those up. It's going to take forever to get them sorted back out if I do. And all we need is 21 more. And then we'll be ready for the most part. I think what I might do... Ah, oh man. If we can't beat it, I'm going to have to kill it off with console command. The other option is taking these guys in. And using them as backup. That way we'll for sure have a chance to beat it. Because here's the thing, man. Whenever we beat the Savage Acro, we get a chance to get blueprints for all of the Arc Editions creatures. So that kind of works out with, you know, our, our gators and stuff. Two, four, five, six, seven. There's only eight. Mutations. We don't. So I'd like to take it out without having to kill it off and wipe it, you know. And there's our one egg. Put you guys back where you go. Throw you into the incubator. I haven't done anything with dragons in a long time. And it's going to take a few minutes. All right. Put you guys back where you go. Put you in there. And you in there. And we still got stuff to do with the Dunkles. There's our other Basils. Moses, where's the Dunkles? 
Yeah, man, I want to do something with those here soon. Really do, really do. Never done that much with them. Definitely want to. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, halfway there. All right, man. Few more, and then we'll breed up the last couple that we need, and we'll have that that dragon ready to hatch too. All right, so these are the last ones we need. We do got one mutation. It looks like a decent color on it. It's a damage mutation. Let's turn this off real quick, just so that we don't have any more issues. All right, that's taken care of. Where is this one? It's purple, man. Oh, that looks awesome, man. <laughs> Little buddy, got a purple face and belly. Oh, we'll have to keep him separate, see what he looks like. Wouldn't mind keeping him for, well, whenever we go to get some apes to keep, I want to get the aberrant ones, and then we'll keep some of those. I'll worry about doing mutations on them. I'm not too worried about these just because they're the standard version. I mean, they're very, very good. And I do like, oh yeah, you need to go outside. You're a little bit too big. A little bit too big to be in here, man. Sorry, sorry. I know, I know. But you're going to get massive. <laughs> I don't want to have to deal with you. A little bit of water. A little bit of food. We're fine. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. But yeah, I definitely want to get some to keep. I don't know, man. They're kind of growing on me because you can use them for just about everything, right? They're good for harvesting. They, well, I mean, you can ride on them, which is fantastic. And then they actually kill stuff pretty, pretty fast, you know? Other than just having an armor slot, which kind of works out instead of having a saddle, you know? Means how we got that really good helmet blueprint. Yep, I was going to say, how many more have we got left? Not you. You're fine. You're fine. And which one are you? See? Stuff's going to start getting them all mixed up. You are a need levels guy. All right, we'll give you a second. Let you guys catch up. I like it, man. Ah, dude, it's like a bluish purple color. We'll have to see how it is whenever it actually grows up. Should be fine. Should be fine. We'll pulse this. And it's kind of all we got left. We'll have to do something with this guy. Like I said, probably just a tiny bit of leveling I'll do off camera, not much. And then I'll level all these guys too off camera. We've got our spawner, we've got all the rest of our armor, so that's kind of it, man. We'll, uh, I'll take a flyby and I'll show you where I want to spawn it at. Tell you what, let's just do that Why? these guys are raising up. It's going to take a second anyways. Can I please get over your wing? Holy crap, dude. See, that's why you belong outside, not inside. Yeah, I'll take a quick flight over and I'll show you where we're going to. Let's go. We'll go on the bat. I know you just got to sleep, man. Can I... Can I please? Hello? Uh-huh. Wakey, wakey, man. <laughs> it's the middle of the day. Getting towards evening time. All right, let me get over here. I'll show you. We'll come back, get the rest of those dinos, and then that will be it for today, man. The boss fight will be tomorrow. Oh, I am so excited and so nervous. All right, so right over here is what I'm thinking. So the problem is right up in here, the Giga spawns. I don't see them, though. We do got a lot of the Andrew Sarkis, but it shouldn't be too hard to kind of clear out. Show you on the map where we're at. Far right corner over there. But it's nice and flat, right? Plenty of room to go ahead and set our dinos out. I'm thinking about probably right up here. And that way I can do, like I said, I'll have the one group over here. And then over on this side, I'll have like our second group. And then way over here, I'll have our third group. And that way everybody's kind of close by, but they're out of range at the same time. And then we'll just... We'll spawn in the Savage Aqua right here. I mean, it's kind of big, right? It's about the size of a Giga. I think it's a little bit bigger. It's either a little bit bigger or smaller. I think it's a little bit bigger. And then that should give us plenty of room. I'll fly around on the dragon, do some whistle commands. Everybody will die. <laughs> we'll have to start over. We'll see, man. We'll see. All right, let's get back to base. Get these last couple guys raised up, and that'll be it for today. It's been kind of busy, man. Kind of busy raising up 60 of the apes. So, I mean, 40 of them, plus a dragon. So, you know, got to have the dragon in there, too. Oh, dude, wait. That's a Rex. I was gonna say, see, there's that gig I'm talking about. That's just a Rex. Only level 15. Nothing to worry about. It's fine. It's fine. You know, something I didn't think about. I wonder if they got all their imprints because we weren't here. We're stuck on the roof again. <laughs> Buddy, and you're too far. Alright, tell you what. In a second, we should drop down. But yeah, I don't know if they got their full imprint. Seems that we were out of render range. Oh, man, sometimes it does that weird stuff like that. You did. Awesome, awesome. Everybody's good. I like it. 
All right, so that's everybody. I want to take a look at that one. Probably should have picked him up first and threw him out somewhere else. Here he is. Buddy, how do you look, man? Ah, uh, dude, I like it. Ah, oh, man, I want to keep him separate. We might do that. We might actually keep him and our breeder will change out. I like it, man. Ah, uh, dude, what is, uh, what are your stats? Are you missing anything? You're not. You're going to be normal. They're all good ones. All right, cool. Let's do that. Let's leave him there. Well, I'll do the same thing where I throw out all these. I'll get them healed up, and then we'll do the dragon separate. Just because, I mean, it's so big, man. He kind of, kind of not enough room here for him. All right, it is the next morning. Everybody's healed up. I got everybody kind of set out so we can take a look. I think we're going to be fine, man. I know it's going to look like there's not that many here. It is 60 of the apes. <laughs> they're just, they're kind of compact, man. That's the way it is with them. Ah, uh, dudes, so we got our dragon. We'll be riding. We've got 30 of them there, 30 of them here. And then, like I said, we'll split them all up. I still got a bunch of points to put into them. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just throw that guy in. I like the way he looks, but... Like I said, I want to get some aberrant ones, so no reason in keeping extra teams just to kind of clutter everything up. Ah, dude, well, <laughs> it's been a busy day. I think it's going to go good, man. Like I said, one of two things are bound to happen. One, we're going to beat it, we'll get all of our loots. Or two, we're totally going to get wiped and lose everybody. Either way, it's fine. It's all testing, man. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed getting our eight army ready together with me. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.